Hi, I'm John, and today I'm going to be talking about uh, the nitty-gritty of Linux. Well, I guess I'm not. Not really. What I'm going to talk about is the fact that people don't need to know the nitty-gritty of Linux. And a lot of times uh, when hobbyists are talking about Linux, and you'll see people saying uh, that they're moving from Windows to Linux, um, there's a sense that you almost have to take it up as a hobby where you have to know all the details about it. And you don't. You don't need to know all the details. You don't need to know all the command lines, uh, commands in the command line. You don't need to know that. Uh, for the most part, you rarely have to touch that if you don't want to. They've made it so good that not only is it better than Windows, but it also uh, gives you the ability to be even easier to install, use graphically if you, if you want. So do you have to know everything to, to use Linux? No. And that's a perception that's just not, not going away anytime soon. Uh, and I think it's because of all the people that have developed it, and kudos to them for doing that. But it doesn't get us to the next stage, which is a larger adoption, that type of thing. Uh, I'm going to talk a little bit about a story, a couple of stories here that relate to this. Um, I had a relative go into surgery, and uh, uh, the doctor did a good job, got the problem fixed. And then the doctor came out after the operation and started showing me detailed pictures of all the things she did. And she was showing it to me like it was some kind of family photo album. It's like, okay, this is what we did here. And you see this and blah, blah, blah. It's like, you know what, Doc? I, I don't care about that. Is it fixed? Yes. And she continued to go through the photos. And it's like, I don't need to see this. Why are you showing me this? And I didn't say this to her, but she could tell I was getting queasy. And I was. I'm not that kind of person that, that wants to stare at, at the innards of, of another human being. I'm, you know, this is why there's doctors, and I'm glad there's people like that. I don't have a problem with it. I get pretty queasy. But uh, so finally, she kind of rolls her eyes and goes, Ugh, and then puts away the photos uh, and uh, says that they'll be, be out shortly. You know, this is the kind of thing that I noticed um, with a lot of different professions. I, I think that sometimes these professions think that you want to know all the details when all you want is the solution. So anyway, that, that's kind of what it was. And it's kind of like Linux that way. You don't need to know all the details. I, you know, for me, I just want to make sure that the operating system runs what I need to run and gets me to where I want to go to. I'm not too interested in the details. If those are all fixed and those are all good, then I don't need to know anything else, really. I mean, that's the beauty of life, right? You don't have to know everything to use it. It's like a car or anything like that. Uh, but this is a perception that Linux has had because you have a hobbyist or a project group of people who dedicatedly uh, work on the project, and that's great, but the problem is that gives a perception that this is going to be something that um, everybody's going to want to know, and it's just not the case. So I'm going to go also to something else, just to make a point. This is the All-American Hot Dog, and... Uh, it's often said that if you knew what was ground up and put into a hot dog, you wouldn't eat it. Well, I think that's true for Windows. Uh, you will never know what's been ground up and put into that hot dog. With uh, Windows or even Mac, uh, they're compiled, or oh, uh, Chrome OS too, they compile these and they're not going to tell you what's in it. They're not going to tell you what data they're sending back or anything like that. And if you knew what it was, you probably wouldn't use it. The good news is with Linux, you can look at all the code. You can freely look at all the lines of code if you want to. Now, it's 
you know, millions of lines of code, that type of thing. Um, would it mean anything to the average user? No, but you can also be assured that there's people out there that are real experts at it that go, yeah, this isn't sending any telemetry or anything like that. It's not sending any data back anywhere. So you can be sure that the hot, the Linux hot dog you eat uh, is going to be something that um, is going to be straightforward and it's laid bare for everybody to see what it is. So um, that's the difference between the Microsoft hot dog and the Linux hot dog. Uh, the Linux hot dog, you know exactly what's being pressed into it. And there may be some things about it you may not like, but there it is. You know what's in it. With Microsoft, you're never going to know that, and, and you're not going to know that with Mac either. Once again, the simplicity of it and the openness of it is great. Uh, so no matter what you choose as uh, a Linux distribution, you know, it could be Kubuntu, Linux Mint. I've used both of these extensively. MX Linux a little bit, uh, Ubuntu and uh, Pop! OS and you know, another hundred flavors of, of Linux. Uh, there's so many that you could choose. They all basically function very similarly, but uh, they do have some different um, focuses sometimes and also, um, you know, different kind of functionality uh, on the desktop, that type of thing. But for me, and like a lot of people, we don't need to know all the details of what's going on underneath. That's why if you're thinking about switching from say Windows or Mac to Linux, just know that you don't have to know all those things. You can, you know, run it and start it up, install it like any other graphical user interface uh, that's out there. And you don't really need to know a lot of the details. Now, I'm going to say that over time, you'll probably want to know some of the details. And you'll go, oh, that's nifty. You know, that's pretty cool. I can uh, do some things with the command line that, that really uh, makes sense. And, you know, it, it won't frighten you at all. If you're an average user, this is going to work great uh, once you put it on a USB stick and boot it up. You're going to find that it's more reliable, it's more secure. Uh, you don't have a lot of the problems with, with hardware because the hardware, you could use old hardware and still run these uh, newer versions of Linux. It's usually no problem at all. You can't do that with Windows. You can't do that with Mac necessarily. Um, and so that's kind of what you get into, and especially with the later versions of Windows. The bottom line is people aren't interested, in my opinion, about Linux for all the different nuances that it has. And unfortunately, that's one of the big problems. Even as good as a lot of these people who talk about Linux are, and I've learned a lot from them, for those of us who kind of take it as a hobby, not just an operating system, it, it's interesting. But if you're an average user, you don't need to know any of that. And I certainly don't need to know any of that to do my daily routine and take care of business. Uh, it's as simple as that. Uh, it's like driving a car. Do you think about all the uh, things that are going on in the engine? The fact that the pistons are pumping hard. There's... Uh, a fuel injection, you want to know about that. Oh, yeah, and the, the oil is going through here and making sure everything's lubed up. You don't have to think about any of that when you're using it. In fact, probably 99.9% .9 of the time, you haven't given a second thought unless there's a problem. And the idea that uh, having a problem makes you think about something, yeah, is true. But how about having an operating system like Linux where you're going to have less problem than Windows, and it's just going to be easier to use. It's lighter weight and all that. I, I can't say enough good things about it. But you don't need to know all the gritty details. You don't need to know what's in the hot dog. You don't need to know uh, 
uh, exactly. Let me uh, pull up the other uh, shot that I have. Oh, if I can even do it. Oh, yeah, there we go. You also don't need to know all the details about what happened in surgery. And I'm going to say if that doctor is watching this, which is 99% sure uh, that she never will see it, um, I didn't need to know all that stuff. It just made me queasy. I just want to know that it, everything worked out okay. And that's the bottom line. So anyway, uh, that's it for today. Um, you know, hop on to, to Linux and make the switch from Windows to Linux. You don't need to know all the gritty details. You just need to know that you want to have an operating system that's going to work better for you. Um, it can work on pretty much any machine, newer or older, that you may have. And you're going to get a lot of usefulness out of machines that you didn't think you were going to be able to use anymore. And just everything about it is a better experience, in my opinion. And you can put away all those other gritty details. You don't need to know them. Just, uh, just give it a try. You'll see what I'm talking about. Anyway, that's it for today. I hope you have a good day, and we'll talk to you again soon. Bye-bye.